Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and again, I want to show you another challenge for the Google CTF that was going on this past weekend. Um, this time, I want to show you the Spotted Qual. I think that's the name of the challenge. Spotted Qual? Yeah. Again, another pretty simple challenge. Only 50 points. A lot of people solved it. Um, again, here's a challenge prompt. This blog on zombie research looks like it might be interesting. Can you break into the admin section? I've already solved this, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do. It looks like uh, just a simple, apparently, blog. Doesn't have any content, literally nothing here, other than apparently an admin page. And you can see it over in the top right of the navigation, there's an admin section. It doesn't bring me anywhere, but I see that my URL changes to error user not found. You might not be able to see that, but I see it. Um, and that might tip you off to something. So, obviously, it being a web challenge, my kind of knee-jerk reaction and gut thing to do is take a look at the cookies, so we'll fire up our cookie manager again. You can download it from Firefox admins if you don't already have it. So we'll get that tool going. And, uh, I'm going to verify that I'm... Okay, I'm looking at spotted qual CTF competition, so I'll look for that as my cookies. And I see one cookie, obsolete pickle, and it looks like a string here that kind of looks like a base64 thing. So let's poke at that and let's see what it actually is. If I fire up idle... Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. It might be better to do this in Sublime Text. Can you see it? Here, I'll just try and amp up the size. Here I go again, doing things I didn't prepare for. My bad, everybody. I'm sorry. Wow, configuring idle is apparently a no-go. I've literally frozen idle right now. At least mouse-clicking-wise. I can no longer touch the menu. So it was a bad idea all around. <laughs> Let's get Sublime Text up. Let's do it in here. Um... I'll just probably create a get flag script while we're doing this then. Spotted qual complete. Um, get flag.py. Let's just give it a nickname so we don't have to uh, call that much. Now, if we print this out. Whoa, it looks like a bunch of uh, weird things. Python pickles, subtle hint. User. Oh, okay. Huh. That's very clearly a Python pickle. Especially considering the cookie was called obsolete pickle. Do you guys know what that is? If you don't, I totally recommend doing some reading. It's a way you can kind of serialize or kind of compact data. That's really funny. <laughs> but yeah, Python pickle object serialization. So we can work with it, though. We can actually check out what that thing really is. I'll import pickle. And then I'll just say p equals this. Print pickle dot... Is it loads? Is that right? Okay, yeah. So this is actually just a Python dictionary, right? And Python pickles... Subtle hint, haha, <laughs> and the user is none. Okay, if the user is none, and the error that we were seeing earlier was that error user not found, can we set our user to be the admin? <laughs> let's try that. This this is just a dictionary, so let's say uh, hours. I guess we can call this whatever we want. Let's say our user is the admin, right? So it's. The cookie was base64 encoded from a pickled string. So what we want to do is we want to... Can we pickle that data? Pickle.loads hours? Now loads is referring to like load string. Uh, I guess I'll just call this O. Print O. I feel like that's wrong. Okay, yeah, it must be it must be like dumps or something. Yeah, okay, cool. So dumps will take it, the data, as the actual data, and then it will convert it to a pickle once we call pickle dump string. So now we have it as a pickle, and let's go ahead and base64 encode this. B.B64 encode that O file. And does that work for us? Yeah, okay, sweet, it does. And don't forget the equal sign at the end. It looks like it did add that padding there. If we go into a cookie manager, can we change this 
to this. Save it. Close. Now if I go to admin. Hey, 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 cool, we get our flag. Sweet, let's automate that. What we want to do is say cookie. And let's get requests and RE. Import requests, import RE. S equals requests dot session. You guys know the drill, you know how to do all this, but I'll just run through it for principality's sake. Cookies dot update. Well then the cookie was called obsolete pickle, right? Obsolete. Mm, admin page. You are a uh, verify, 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 verify equals false. I do that to avoid the SSL thing. If you didn't see it happen in the other video, print r dot text. Do we get it? Yet yeah, we do. And then match equals re dot search. The pattern is CTF. I'll call this content. Got it. Okay, cool. There's our flag. Oh, and let's remove that uh that secure warning. I just this is like boilerplate code that I stole off the internet. It looks like it'll just hide requests weird warning, so that's fine. Okay, so cool. We just get our flag as the output to our get flag script. And we're done. <laughs> Simple challenge. Uh, again, just changing cookie values and seeing what they really are and do, etc., etc. But the uh, Python pickle module is a cool thing to know if you don't already, because you can store data in that, and it's I guess commonly used in CTFs. So you can do a lot of danger with this uh, pickle module in Python. So yeah, that's it. We got our CTF flag. Another simple challenge, but I figured I'd show it off to you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you again in another Google CTF video. Thanks, guys. Bye.